Good day YouTubers, uh, just going to do a ride, uh, just today this video is about uh, the vendors I found of a 15S uh, battery pack as opposed to a 14S um, on the BBS HD, uh, just my own opinions, um, but uh, I just fully charged it, so I'll just show you how prove it is 15S, turn it on, I should turn on the breaker here. Set it. So I'm running. Uh, this is charged to 4.1. <clears throat> I'd advise not to go over 4.1. I've, I've been slowly going up from 3. Point, I think it was 3.8 to 3.9, then 4, 4.1. So I've done it to 4.1. That's 61.27 voltage uh, without any error codes or uh, faults. You know, over, over voltage error codes or faults. Um, so yeah. So I'll just see how we go on the ride. The other thing before I go, I just want to mention I recently upgraded to a, um, a uh, what is it, a lunar eclipse uh, 42 tooth uh, chain ring. Just the fact it gives me a slightly better chain line, uh, which means the gears will last longer. That's the only reason I, I went this way. There was no... Uh, chain derailment or anything like that, I just want a better chain line. So it's, that's on the 46 tooth at the back. And that's the it's on you know that it's this is slight angle but not not a, not, a, not too bad compared to a compared to what frame I'm using. And uh you yeah, know that's uh I've got the um jet black ultralight pedals in red and the uh Lecky buzz bar self extracting cranks uh, offset so that can be taken out by one allen key it self extracts just by one allen key both sides you know and, and I initially I was running a hardtail a 14s you know off the, off, off the shelf BBS HD kit uh, I've got a bad back so I don't I'm sort of I'm using this as a complete set of spares now, so it's not going to waste. The whole system is interchangeable, um, so I've got a full set of spares of everything. And I just want to show you the difference between a 15s versus a 14s. That's that one there is a 14s 17.5 air power. They're not they're not exactly the same batteries, and this is a 15s uh, 35 amp hour. So we'll go on a ride. I'll get to my, uh, I'll get, I'll get to, a, I'll do X amount of Ks and take it down to 58.8, which would be 14S, and I'll just show you how many kilometers I do over the top of a 14S with much, with a, with a quite a bit more power behind me, with extra, well, the extra 50 from 58.8 to 61.27, so that difference voltage um, will give me a quite a long range before it drops down to a 14S. All right, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Just out in the ride here. Beautiful day. Uh, mind that noise. I think it's like a, a bean friggin' uh, cicadas or locusts or something, man. It's almost deafening. But, yeah, got a tree down. So, just perfect place to stop and talk about my uh, advantage of 15S while I'm on a ride. So, currently I've done... Um, I pulled 5.4 amp hour out, um, and I'm down to a 14S battery as of now, um, and I've covered, uh, you can see me 52.6 kilometers now, I'll be fastest, uh, 1,081 watts, um, but I've covered 18.4 Ks um, on top of 14S, so from 15S from I think 61.5 or thereabouts, down to uh, you know very close to 58.8. Um, uh, it's gone up a bit because I stopped for a few minutes, but uh, yeah, you know that's 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 the biggest thing I've found. You only get a much bigger range, 18.4 k's, and um, now I'm at to a state of a 14s battery. So yeah, you know I've probably got 
that that's out that's actually out of date because I reset I set that a kilometer into my ride but that's 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 the most accurate because I sort of measured the circumference of my wheel and put the dimensions into this so it's pretty accurate but uh, yeah so all going well since I already did those few mods on it the drill hangers going right nice it's all painted up you can't even tell I've modified that and obviously the dust cover you got better see it's all enclosed what I did do though was uh, I painted those uh, screws black so it all blends in mate you can hardly see it you know you, you'd be struggling to find that but uh yeah I'll do a few hundred k's and uh, uh, after that I'll pull, pull, the, pull the covers off and have a look how much dust is in there but you know hopefully it's, uh, it's all good but yeah what a day man absolutely perfect Ah, that noise, but <laughs> beautiful yeah. in the pine forest, of course. And uh, yeah, it's a good place to be when it's hot, it's quite a lot of shade in here. So, all right, guys, I'll keep going until the end of my ride and I'll show you what I get out of it and what amp hours I use and all the rest of it. So, all right, until then, yeah, probably the most important pro that I um, come across with, and the reason why I did it was uh, from 15S on the BBS HD over a 14S, is that with a 14S, you run your 4.2, most people do, to get the, the most out of their batteries. Um, and that, that gives you roughly around about 500 cycles. Um, and I'm, I've got a 15S, so I'm running at 4.1, which is a slightly higher voltage than a fully charged 14S. But because I'm only running charging to 90%, I'm getting pretty much the twice the uh, cycle I've had my batteries, you know, and that's that's the biggest thing. That's why I chose a 15S build uh, on the BBS HD motor. Um, as we all know, the e-bike batteries, the, when you, the amount of batteries you need to uh, give you a good good run, it's it's a significant bit price into your build. So. If you can get twice as much use out of your batteries, twice as much cycle life, well, that's a massive pro, you know. That's the reason why I built it this way. Uh, just an example is that this is an article, I think it was put out for, for the Grin, the Grin Satch, I think it's called the Satiator, Grin Satiator, um, the, the, you know, the flexible charging thing. And for example, at 4.2, um, 100%, they give you around about the four, four to five, oh, about 450 to 500 um, cycles, how many charges out of your battery. That's running 14S at 100%. And because I'm running 15S at uh, 4.1, I'm still running 61.5 volts, total at 4.1 volts a cell, but I'm only using 90% of, uh, of my battery. So, you know, you look across there from 4.1, it's around about 900, eight, probably about 850 charges as opposed to 450, 500. So that, that's a massive difference, you know, and that's the main reason why uh, I chose the uh, 15S, you know. I hope that helps, guys, but, uh, uh, you know, that's, it's all my, it's my opinion, you know, and, uh, you know, I've proven it. I've done, I've done it quite a few Ks on it without any, any uh, negative side to it. So, yeah. Okay guys, back home after my ride, probably the, one of the longest rides I've been on today. Um, that, that speedo, that odometer trip meter is actually out because I set it in about a k and a half into my ride. But this one's the most accurate, hopefully that comes out. So I've put down, let's go the distance first, I've done 58.1 kilometres um, from, from a 4.1 volts of cell. Uh, 15s, um, and off, uh, so it's almost close to 60 k's, and uh, gone down to 54.65 volts, and that's pulled 16.75 amp hours out of the battery. Um, so that, that can still can like I've put a little memo for myself. Three and a half volts. So I'm taking it down to at, at uh, this stage, and that's uh, 52.5. So 354.6 at the moment um, and there's no load on it but um, obviously any any voltage you'll have a lot of voltage sag when you 
You've got a heavy load, I had a big load there, 52.29 volts at 13.72 uh, watts, or 1.3 kilowatts. Um, yeah, the highest speed was 55.2 kilometers an hour. And, uh, and uh, when I was putting 1.3 kilowatts, that was 25.5 amps. So, yeah, so it's, you know, I'm definitely getting 60 k's out of this, out of this uh, 35 amp hour battery, but like it's still not down to the to its minimum, you know, like it's still around the 54.6 and I can go down to 52.5, so that really gives me, um, you know, probably another 50, 20 k's of that, so that's 80, probably 80 k's, man, 75 to 80 k's. Um, that's the screen. Um, so hopefully that's coming out. Uh, 452 k's to date. Um, and uh, the maximum speed was 52.3. Average was 14 because there's a real, a real hilly, hilly terrain there. So yeah, but um, three and a half hours for the ride. Where is it? Three and a half hours, three or four hours for the ride, but uh, yeah, it was it's already the longest ride I've been through on this bike, and uh, yeah, that's the the final results. You know, sixteen point seven amp hours. Um, at, uh, at close to 50, fifty-eight kilometers, you can almost run up to sixty. But uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy. Alright guys, obviously there are downsiders to 15S, I've never come across them yet, but I, I'm being pretty conservative in my ride, I use pedal assist all the time, and uh, obviously I dropped it down to high gears like, you know, the 46 tooth on really steep hills and, you know, using PAS 9 and pedaling, so um, if you went on a throttle only I wouldn't advise that, you might fry the controller, but um, the way I ride, it's working nicely, man. So, alright, guys, till next time. See you.